Chaos in the Westlake District. Several vehicles smashed, a school officer injured, and the person apparently behind it is in custody. CBS 2's Lori Perez is live at the scene where detectives just gave her an update. Lori. Yeah, and Jeff, and they just confirmed to us that the uh, school police officer, a 27 year veteran of the force, is at the hospital with his family, that he's doing well after uh, they tell us a suspect in a stolen car tried to run that officer over. This is a really big crime scene and uh, a lot to investigate. Let me tell you where it all started. They say with a stolen car, it has ended with a big mess, multiple people hurt, including the officer, and a string of damaged, disabled cars across at least three blocks. Now, this is not one, but actually a few crime scenes, including this one behind me. Sky 2 can probably give us the best look at a big stretch of Alvarado here from 3rd all the way down to Valley Street has been closed off as police try to take inventory of all the victims and the damaged property. This started again at about 2.40 when police say a woman stole a van. She was reportedly driving erratically, crashing into cars and eventually crashing onto the sidewalk near Burlington and Bonnie Bray at 3rd Street, that intersection. She then abandoned the stolen van, we're told, and carjacked another car, which uh, she only was able to get to uh, about a block away to 3rd and Union Street, where she crashed into more cars and was confronted by the, for the first time by the school police officer. At some point, the confrontation traveled over here to 3rd and Alvarado, where police say the officer did fire shots as that suspect uh, attempted to run the police officer over. Again, the officer was hurt and is at the hospital, where we're told he's recovering well. Witnesses say three other people were taken to the hospital, at least two from cars and one, possibly a pedestrian, who was in all this chaos. We know that the uh, suspect in question was involved in multiple traffic collisions, hit and run investigations across the city involving Olympic and Rampart Division. We know following Rampart Division, that suspect became involved in a carjacking incident where she exchanged into another vehicle. Uh, during the commission of that, uh, she proceeded and became involved in a road rage incident, which ultimately led into the officer involved shooting. And again, to his point, um, all up and down this area for several blocks, there are uh, crime scenes blocked off with crushed vehicles in them. And if I could show you this uh, Los Angeles Fire Department ambulance just pulled up uh, to the side. There are some folks who were in one of the cars that this suspect uh, hit and uh, they had uh, com been complaining of some back pain and uh, other minor pains, not enough to get to the hospital, but certainly shaken up. Um, we we spoken with them and they said, I mean, it was just again, the word chaos is perfect for that and, and panic out here on the streets. Police are going to be here for a while, they say, uh, as they are investigating a lot. Guys, back to you.